Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from Domesticated Me. Today I'm sharing with you the products that I purchased from the Aladdin collection from MAC. This is their latest collaboration. It was just released a few days ago. I purchased my products from Macy's just because I find you get a little more extra stuff when you buy from Macy's just because they always have sales going on, coupon codes, and um, freebies that they throw in there. So that is where I purchased mine. I believe they still they are still available, so I will link to everything that I feature in this video and the entire collection in the description box below in case you're interested in picking any of these up. Now my face is looking a little bare because I am going to be filming two makeup videos today. This is going to be the first one. The next one is going to be a tutorial for my pride look, which I'm really excited to do. If you want to see that, make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that little um, little bell icon and click the always option so that you are notified whenever my videos go out. I make new videos every single week. I cover beauty, fashion, travel, you name it, I cover it all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with what I'm wearing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this. This is the um, Your Wish Is My Command. They call this a powder blush but let's be real it's not so this is the packaging I think it's beautiful I love the colors the gold foil accent the genie lamp at the center the lotus leaves very beautiful obviously it says Disney Aladdin at the front and then Mac at the bottom I love the colors just I think they did a really good job with the packaging I think it's absolutely beautiful this is the product itself again love the packaging it is a gold container gold packaging with that teal print to it I love that Aladdin the Lotus leaves Mac beautiful but when you open it up so you click here and it pops open and then you lift the lid this is what it looks like again they are calling these an uh, oversized blush but let's be real it's not really a blush it is a bronzer that's how I'm gonna be using it um, and that is how I use it. It is quite deep. I love the color. I think I love that it's also matte. If you have texture in your in your skin, you probably those that have like gold flecks in it are probably not going to be your friend because they tend to emphasize that texture. And if you have any dryness, unfortunately, I have both going on right now. So this is perfect for me because it doesn't really highlight those problems. Um, so I like that. But again, it's very deep, so if you are on the fair side, just go very light-handed with this application, with the application of this, because it will appear very dark. If you just go, if you like dip in your brush, and it's, it's quite deep, so you're gonna have to really blend it out. Great thing is that it does blend out very easily. I found it very easy to work with. I'm gonna show you how I applied it right now. Your Wish Is My Command is described as a deep golden brown oversized blush. This is the next product and it's called One Jump Ahead. Again, they call it, they're calling this a um, oversized powder blush, but it's not, it's a highlighter. <laughs> and this is the compact right here. Again, gold, same kind of packaging, beautiful. You click the button and then you lift the lid and here it is. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I don't see how anyone could use any of these products as an actual blush. If you can, awesome, cool, I'll give you a thumbs up for that. But for me, it's going to be a bronzer and this is going to be a highlighter. But the color is absolutely beautiful and I, I love it. Always One Jump Ahead is described as a gold with gold shimmer oversized blush.
Moving on to the lipsticks. There are four lipsticks in this collection and I purchased three of them. The one that I didn't purchase is the one that I think is going to be the most popular from the collection. And that is like this beautiful bright, like a fuchsia, like a very, like a pinkish red, like a very bright berry color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I already have lipsticks like that in my collection. To be fair, I probably have lipsticks like these in my collection, but I'm definitely gravitating towards these colors much more than those brighter ones. I tend to like these neuter shades, but I will link to that fourth lipstick in the description box as well in case you're interested in picking that one up. So in no particular order, let's start swatching some of these lipsticks. This is called Raja, and again, it's that same packaging from the powder blushes. Um, for the lipsticks and let me show you the lipstick bullet oh and the interior of these boxes are purple which I think it's really beautiful when I think of Aladdin the colors that come to me are purple and like this teal green kind of colors so I love that they kept that in the packaging so here is the bullet absolutely beautiful again that same gold color for the bullet with the teal designs here beautiful they're like peacock feathers here it's just beautiful intricate design i think it's absolutely gorgeous i'm definitely displaying these i also really like that you also have the aladdin and mac logos on the bullet when you take the cap off i just think these lipsticks are absolutely beautiful Raja is a matte lipstick in a muted red berry shade. And here is Raja. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This lipstick I think would look great on women or people with darker skin tones. If you have deeper, darker skin, I think this color would be gorgeous on you. But of course, anyone can wear it. If you like this color, go ahead and try it. There are no rules to make up. Don't listen to people tell you you can only wear certain colors. No, if you enjoy it, go ahead and wear it. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think this is a great fall color. This collection isn't really part of a season. It's to celebrate the release of the live uh, action movie Aladdin. So just because it's coming out in spring, summer, doesn't mean that these are just spring color products of spring summer products um, this is going to look great when it gets to the cooler weather the next one is called princess incognito princess incognito is a matte lipstick in a neutral pinky rose shade I love this color. I think it's a gorgeous nude, definitely very pigmented. And for someone of my skin tone, I think it's a perfect everyday nude. You could wear this to work, to church, to party. You can wear it all day long. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then last but not least, it's Friend Like Me. Friend Like Me is an amplified lipstick in a cool neutral beige. And here you go, as you can see, it is a lighter nude shade. I would recommend this for people with lighter skin tones because the darker you are, the more um, kind of off it looks. So for me, it's looking, for me, it's looking a little off, but I have very pigmented lips. So this is the shade that you would get if you have my pigmentation. I would still, the reason that I still pick this up is because I would use this to put sort of at the center of my lips just to give my lips dimension. So what I would personally do is wear any of the other two shades but then pop this in the middle just to make my lips pop. Um, that is how I would wear this. Um, you could wear this on its own too. Just for me, it's just a little too light for my personal taste for my skin tone. But if you enjoy it, go ahead and wear it any way you like. The last item I picked up was a gloss and this one's a little different packaging wise. It has a purple background with the gold foil print over it. 
and let's see what the interior is. The interior is orange. There you go. So this one is called, this one is called Jewels on Jewels. And it is a very beautiful pink with gold flecks in it. I just thought this would look best on my pigmentation. I really wasn't interested. One of them was like way too light and the other one was nice, but I just think this is for my taste, for how I like to wear makeup. This is the one that I would probably pick up mo most often, so that's why I picked up just this one. And there you go. This is what it looks like on me. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it looks great on its own, but also it would look wonderful over these other lipsticks. I'm pretty comfortable, still kind of a little bit on the thick side, a little bit on the goopy side, but not uncomfortable. So totally would recommend this just because I think the color is really, really beautiful. So my final thoughts on this collection is that I think it's a really nice collection. I love the packaging. I think the design is absolutely beautiful and I'm definitely displaying these pieces. Um, I'm surprised that it didn't have an actual, what you and I would consider a blush. I just think it doesn't feel complete without the blush. Now for the eyeshadow palette, the reason that I didn't pick that up was mainly a couple one. Mainly it's that the shadows, although beautiful, are shadows that are not out of the ordinary, rare, that I feel that, that I would feel the need to pick it up because I don't have anything in my collection like it. I do have shadows like the ones featured in that palette. It's still a very nice palette. The other thing that surprised me is that, again, when I think of Aladdin and Jasmine specific, uh, specifically, I think of purples, I think of greens and like teals, like the packaging shows, and I just didn't find that in the eyeshadow palette. So if you do like that palette, go ahead and pick it up or any of these products, I would definitely recommend that you pick it up because the quality is great. I really like the wear on them. Pigmentation is really good. I like the blush. I mean, I like the bronzer. The bronzer I think is really nice item to have. Again, a little on the deep side, so just be gentle with it. Just be light-handed with your application, but good to have for the summer when you are probably out in the sun and might be getting a little more tan. Really good product to have. And the highlighter is really, really beautiful. You can really blend it out so that it looks like a natural glow, or you can go ahead and use it like a strobe that you can see from space. <laughs> Whatever application you prefer, you can do that with these products. The lipsticks are great. I really like the lipsticks. Um, but I'm glad that I could give you a view as to what they look like on someone with my pigmentation. I also have to add that I think that this collection is really good for people of color. For people who have darker skin tones, I think this is a really good collection. This movie features people of color, so it's nice that they keep they kept that in mind when they designed this collection. Um, I think that's great. I think that the more brands become more inclusive with the products that they make, the better. And again, even if you're on the fairer side, you can still wear this, and definitely if you're on the deeper side, you can definitely wear this, so I love that. If you have any questions, any requests, or just wanna say hi, please use that comment section below. Again, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that notification button, the little bell, and choose the always option so that you're notified as soon as my videos go out. Let me know what you guys think. Is there anything that you've already picked up or you're curious about and you wanna pick up? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, feel free to write any requests, ask me any questions, or just say hi. You guys know that I love to hear from you. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.